Hello, friends! I'm sure that you've been hearing a lot about this new Star Wars movie. So I decided to make a new Jedi robe. Because the Jedi robe that I made before was actually for my roommate. And I don't have one. So let's get out some fabric and start this biz. I'm trying to film from the ceiling. Step one. I'm laying out my fabric. Measuring how long it needs to be. From my shoulders to my feet. Maybe have more space than this for when you make yours at home. My feet at the very bottom of it. And I'm just gonna cut at the top of my shoulders here. And where's my drink? We're just gonna stay there. The nice thing about this is, you can just rip it if you have the right kind of fabric. This is gonna look great. Now that you have the general thing cut out, fold it in half. You measure across your shoulders, like this, cut that in half, and then at the very top, add an extra inch or so, just to make sure you have extra space. And it doesn't matter if you add too much, because if it's billowy, that's even better. Make a little cut. Your shoulders are angled. I would say do it at about that angle right there. Cut up the shoulder. Really awkward filming like this. <laughs> so... <laughs> Now that we have the shoulder seam cut out, we're just going to cut straight down from there, making sure that it's the same width down to, like, use your hand. As soon as you hit the bottom of where your hand is, that's where you curve out a little bit. See how I did that? Wow! Now that you have that little curve right there, cut it directly from the edge of that curve all the way to the other corner over there. Oh look, I found a straight edge! Wait. Ooh! Make this curve look a little bit nicer here. 90 degrees, baby. So this is your back piece. So it's just one solid thing that you fold it in half. Just fold another piece of fabric in half. Now that you have that first piece laid out on top of the folded piece of fabric, we're cutting on the edge that's open instead of the edge that's closed because these are going to be your front pieces. So this is the general shape of stuff that you want without me laying on it. Cutting out some sleeves. I'm folding this in half again because roughly half of it will be perfect for a big ol' sleeve. Cute! Fold it in half and then just hold it up against your arm. So you want to go from the, the very top of your shoulder and just hold it out. And I would suggest cutting it to about your thumb or so. The shoulder to the thumb. Clip it and rip it. Make sure that's Fold it again. Okay. We have the sleeve hole here. We're just going to see if that'll fit. And it looks like it will. I'm just going to add a little curve to this sleeve into the armhole. That looks great. Now let's move on to the hood. I kind of like this curve right here for the back of the hood. So I'm just going to accentuate that a little bit more by curving this down. And that's going to be the top of the hood. It's kind of a pointy head sort of look. And this is probably like two hands widths wide, because then if you like put it against your face, like a wrap around your face. So this will be my kind of awkward looking hood shape. My head is going to fit in here just like this. Ta-da! I'm just gonna cut a little bit of a curve for the front of the face too. It looks like a gorilla head shape. If I just added a little gorilla face. No? Okay. Ooh, that is a garish green light. Now we have all of our pieces. That's the hardest part, really. The other part is just putting it all together. Let's stitch them together! He said as though it was not hard at all. Use the force, y'all. Where's my drink? Oh, 